Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 8, and when last we left the Avatar, we've managed to find Stone Cove. We also found the Axe Deceiver, which, contrary to what that book we read said, does exist, and it existed on an island far away from the shore. We needed to uh, do a lot of jumping to reach it. We also need to get this door open if we're to meet the Mountain King. We can only do that by summoning a golem, as the last necromancer said. So we need to go and make that a spell that we can use to summon the golem. I've collated all of our reagents into one handy bag, and generally shuffled around the inventory so that it's a lot clearer. We need to get one pile of dirt, just one. We need to get one vial of blood, there we go. We also need one piece of blackmoor. We also need one piece of wood, and we need one piece of bone. All of these in a bag together, and then we use the uh, item to make charms, and that will make our uh, item for us that we need to summon a golem. Just need to make sure it's the right bag we're using. We don't want to uh, make a mistake here. There we go. In Ort Lelm Zen. Now we have this, and I actually want to make another one while I'm here preparing spells. Let's make a uh, rock flesh, shall we? Let's make two of them, in fact. And for that, we need to get uh, two wood and two dirt. We have uh, plenty of wood. We'll just get uh, two and two dirt. We have quite a lot of that, too. Two dirt. Excellent. And now that we've done that, we can just uh, make two of those, so if we want to, we can just be invulnerable. Much better. We'll put them here, and we'll put them here, just so that they're easy to grab. For now, we want to use this Create Golem spell, right here. Rise, Golem, rise, and serve the Avatar! The golem can do a lot of things. Follow, stop, move, open, attack, leave, grunt, and nothing. We want you to follow us right now, because we want you to go over to this door. We don't need this empty potion, and I doubt we need the uh, sliced executioner's hood, so I left that here. And now that you're here, golem, you must open this door. This door here, specifically. There we go. And with a mighty shove, you open the door, if I move out the way. There we go. Are you going to open it? Or are you going to dance? No, your dancing was what opened the door. Thank you, Mr. Golem. You can just stay here, or you could leave. You can leave if you like. And then the Golem crumbles to uh, dirt and is gone. We need to step in here. I doubt the golem could follow us through the uh, screen transition. And we're going to save, because you never know what terrible things may occur here. Like doom and death. After all, this is likely the final test before uh, potential necromancers go to uh, meet the Mountain King. There are lots of uh, remains here of people that failed, and there is another golem. I'm not going to presume that you are a friendly golem. You're coming over to say hi, and I think you're coming over to say hi with your fists that you'll use to punch us, so we're going to just, uh, juke you here and have a look at, uh, these remains, which have some blood. We'll take that blood, and then we're going to go over here and have a look in this direction. Goodbye, golem! By the time we get back, you're likely to have, uh, despawned. Nothing here, nothing here, anything here, no, nothing there at all. So we're just going to head to the north instead and see what's here. Well, what's here is a massive drop that will most likely lead to our doom. Is it watery doom? Is it lava-based doom? The Avatar is not going to find out, because the Avatar jumped deftly away. And that was a hole. That would have likely also led to our doom. And here are some streetlights that really shouldn't be here. How do they even work? Are they linked up to the Tenebrae uh, light system? Or do they have their own source of power? Maybe they're geothermal. Does this open that? No. No, it does not. Is there a way for me to get in here? Maybe I can climb over the uh, remnants of the wall to get in here. Let's give it a go, shall we? There we go. We can climb over. That's handy. 
anything here? Well, there is a net. We really don't need a net. We don't need that. Do we need what you have? No. Do you have anything of any value? You don't either. Do you? The answer is, uh, no. It's worth checking. There might be a key. We definitely want a key. Anything here? Well, there is a bedroll, just in case we needed one of them. Nothing there, nothing there. Two more to check, and that is that one here, and this one here. Nothing at all. There is, however, a switch. And this has made the dead angry! Let us attack them with our axe! Have at thee! This axe is, uh, pretty good, it would seem. That, uh, ghoul was killed very quickly. What about this one? And you are gone, and you are likely also gone. And we didn't get hit at all. Victory for the Avatar! Anything, uh, good on these, uh, ghouls? The answer is no, no, and no. Nothing at all. Will this open now? It will not. We're going to have to, uh, climb back out, aren't we? That's okay. Let's just, uh, climb back out here. And we are now back on this side, and hopefully that, uh, switch has done something. And I definitely avoided that hole. I didn't actually intend to avoid that hole, but the Avatar managed to anyway. Jumping over here, we'll find out if the Golem is still here. I don't think the Golem will still be here. The answer is... The Golem is very gone. The Golem decided, you know what, I'm really not bothered with, uh, fighting the Avatar. I'm just going to leave. And the Golem left. Anything over here? There is a bridge! We want to, uh cross that bridge. The bridge is sort of fading away, though. We're going to have to save, because I don't like the fact that the bridge is sort of there and sort of not. We're likely going to fall to our doom if I'm not careful. Hark, is that the sweet song of lamentation I hear? Lamentation and a timing puzzle? Sure, because it's not very good to see. Can we jump over here? We can. Excellent, and there's another golem. Don't mind me! I'm just going to go down here and ignore you. Now, we could jump onto that platform. I don't know if that platform is going to stay after we, uh, jump onto it, but it's worth a try. Jump! And we need to go over to the very edge of this platform. Fortunately, it's sort of hanging around, which is good. And jump! And another jump over here. We're getting pretty good at this jumping thing, Avatar. You're very good at it, actually. There we go. And another jump over here. Eventually, we'll be where we need to be. Which is over here. In fact, we could just jump from here. Excellent. Now we are here. Hello, Mr. Golem. I'm just going to ignore you, and, uh... We could go this way? We can't go this way. We're going to have to go this way. Any way that we can... Ah, there is a platform. I'm going to presume that platform is not going to hang around for very long. Or maybe it will. No, it definitely will not. Don't mind me, Mr. Golem. I'm just go Actually, let's fight you. Let's see if we can fight you. Have at thee, Mr. Golem. Oh, we can really not fight you. Let's just, uh, run away, shall we? Very quickly. This is back. Good. We're just going to jump onto that. And from there, we will jump to here. And to here. Excellent. We are most of the way over. I hope. This has been submerged for quite a while, because look, there's remnants of a building over there! We want to jump to here very quickly, and then to here. Holy Avatar, after all, you have only all of eternity to complete your task. We do indeed. At least in the, uh, extent that we have as much time as we need, because your invasion is going to take a very long time. We could jump to here? Seems like a good idea. Are there any platforms here? There is one platform here! And that will lead to- uh oh, that one vanished. Can we jump to that one very quickly? We can! Did I miss it? I think I missed that platform. That is unfortunate. Can I get all the way round and, uh, do it again? Hopefully I can, because, uh, that was unfortunate. Let's just, uh, very quickly walk- I don't think we can! I think the only thing that we can do right now is, uh, we can't climb up because we can't reach the, uh, no, we can't. Can we, uh, get to any position where we could reach those, uh, platforms again? 
to jump over to here. We can't jump to there. We can't jump to there either. We can get to here. Ooh, there's a treasure chest there. How am I going to get to that treasure chest, I wonder? We definitely want to get to that, I think. Can we jump from here? No. No, we cannot. I also can't uh, jump to these platforms. We might as well just try. One, two, three. He won't even jump. But he will drown if I just move forward. So don't mistime your jump, because if you do, you'll die. Good to know. Hark, is that the sweet song of lamentation, my Of dear? me having to do this puzzle again? A little bit, but that's okay. We can easily do these puzzles. They're not that difficult. We'll definitely save when we get onto the uh, other side of these puzzles, though, because uh, we don't want to have to do all this jumping again. There we go. So we need to be very particular about our timing and our aim with the jumps, because there's no way to get back if you fall and uh, get onto the uh, edges of that uh, body of water. And there we go. We are now here. We definitely want to save here. And try this again. This time with less falling. All right, Avatar, you hear me there? I don't think the Avatar can uh, guarantee that. Just ignore this golem because we know that we can't really face you. Or we'll jump to here and wait for the next platform very patiently. There we go, and to here we go. We're going to wait for that one to reappear because I don't trust that it will stay there long enough. It would have stayed there long enough, but uh, always best to wait. After all, we have a long time. One, two. Hurry, Avatar. After all, you have only all of eternity to complete your task. You did say that before, Guardian. We are hurrying, though, quite a bit. I actually want to save here, because here is where it all went horribly wrong. No harm in saving. I do so enjoy the cries of torment. I don't enjoy the fact that you're enjoying that. It's just, uh, these out of sync. That one will disappear. Then that one. They really appear to be out of sync right now. I'm going to have to wait until they're a little bit more in sync before I jump. Because this one will appear just as that one is about to disappear. Just wait a little bit, it's not going to hurt to wait. What we're going to do is we're going to jump now, when this reappears. There we go, and we'll just wait for this one to uh, reappear. I hope it does, otherwise we're in some trouble. There we go! We literally uh, jumped at the very last second, and here is the very final part. Let's save here too, just in case it all goes horribly wrong. It might go horribly wrong. Jump here, and that one is, uh, not there. It's there now, though, and we managed to jump to here. Success! Let's go over here and see if we can, uh, get that loot, because we saw that there was some loot here. Need to be very careful. Can we jump from here all the way over to there? I don't think we can. We'll try, though! The worst that will happen is that we'll fail and we'll fall and then we'll die. Dying from the water seems to be something that's happening a lot. All right. Three, two, one. You nearly made it. You nearly made it, Avatar. Unfortunately, nearly isn't quite good enough. Let's try that again. Nystal send his best, Avatar. Can Nystal send me a jumping spell? That would be better. All right, we'll jump from here. Aha, we did make it this time. Much better, we'll, uh, can we pick this up? We can't pick this up. Can we jump a little bit? Can we open this? Can we move at all? We can move a little bit. Right, we will uh, try and, uh, for some reason, this is not uh, exploding. Ah, it exploded now and it propelled us over here. Ah. A little unfortunate, and that also exploded, but it didn't kill us, so we can now have a look in here. In here is a helmet and a shield. We really want that helmet. It looks pretty good. We'll uh, take this one off, and we'll put this one on. In fact, we'll uh, just do it this way around. Is it better? It's actually a little bit worse. It looks better, but it's 
just were, so we actually didn't need to come over here at all. We'll just throw that chest over there, it's entirely useless to us. Now let's see if we could uh, get back, shall we? Jump! We can get back, which is good, because I didn't want to uh, have to die and then load up. There we go, we are now here. What can we do here? We can get hit on the head by something falling from the uh, ceiling of the cavern. That's what we can do! We could head north? I feel like saving before we head north is a good idea. Was that load by mistake? That was loading by mistake. That's okay, we don't need to save. And I avoided that that time! Excellent. What is up here? More mushrooms? And a squ- Ooh! A force field! We don't want to go that way, do we? Or do we? Maybe we do want to go that way. Perhaps there is a hint as to uh, where we need to avoid the force fields. There was one there. What about here? There is not one here. There's one there, though. Is there- Oh, there's one there as well. And one there. And unfortunately going that way meant that uh, we got hit by it. Fortunately, we can rest as many times as we like, which is handy. Let's try and figure this out the proper way, rather than just walking through and uh, brute forcing the puzzle. We could go this way. This way. Nope, this way appears to be the wrong way. We could go... Oh, that's the wrong way too. That is not the wrong way. We have a scroll there that we could not grab because we can't reach it. We also can't reach it if we go that way either. Or that way! But we're here anyway. Let's just go this way, shall we? In fact, let's just run to the north. I'm sure that we'll be fine. We're not taking enough damage that this is going to uh, hurt us that much. There is meant to be a puzzle here, I'm sure, but we could just brute force it by uh, heading whichever way we like, because none of these hurt us enough to kill us. We need to find a... Uh, definitely need to find a um, thing that will help us with these uh, force fields. They appear to be everywhere. What about over here? Anything over here? I can see that symbol, by the way, that uh, we saw at the very beginning of this uh, of this dungeon, on top of every single one of these pillars. And that was uh, a nice double team there, Mr. Ghoul. But that's okay, we were victorious anyway. What is over here? Well, what's over there is that we got hit twice. And we got hit there too. I certainly do, I'm just trying to find my way over to here. And that hit us on the head. But what we have found is a key. And we've also found a blue field passage gem. That appears to be a very convenient way to get back through this puzzle without us uh, getting hurt anymore. Let us uh, put this reagent here, and this reagent here. Oh, no, wait, we need to put the reagent. Uh, where do we put that reagent? I have no idea where we put that reagent. Over there. Let's put it there. We'll grab this key and put that on our keyring. And we'll grab this gem, that hopefully means that we won't take any more damage from those pesky force fields. Those force fields of magic! Let's uh, give it a try, shall we? We will go this way. The force fields... Do they seem to hurt us anymore? They hurt us a little. Maybe we have to use it. Or maybe it's just going to hurt us that much less. Let's just go this way, shall we? Oh no, they do hurt us a little bit. I don't think that gem is working as intended. Or maybe there are only a few of the uh, force fields left now. Nope, they still appear to be hurting us. Let's just uh, go this way, and uh, they hurt a lot. They hurt a lot indeed. I, I feel that this probably should be helping me a lot more, but it really isn't. Also, we can't do anything... Uh, as to manipulating it, so we're just going to have to uh, head back the way we came, by going this way, very slowly. Can we go this way and avoid that? We can. Good. There is a uh, pile of remains here that have nothing on them, not surprising. I think we need to go this way, don't we? Yes, no we don't, not that way. Not that way, Avatar. 
You must go this way and get hit by that multiple times. At least we've, we've uh, found out where that zappy sound comes from. It comes from force fields. Remember a little while ago there was a zappy sound that just appeared out of nowhere? We will not defile your bones, do not worry. We will, however, find this. I lie here awaiting the end. I know now that I will never see Lithos. Curse these frail bones of mine. My strength is not great enough to withstand these tests. My only hope is that my twin brother will make it through without me. My hopes and spirit rest with him. Should anyone find this note, please tell him of my passing. Thank you, Brian. We'll take this. You never know it might be useful. You have nothing of any importance on you. You should have just done what the Avatar did, which was just brute force this puzzle. It's just an easy thing to do. We need to, uh, we could have used the uh, stone flesh spell actually. That probably would have got us through here quite simply. Can't go that way. Can we just sneak past here though? A little bit this way? A little bit this way? No, it would seem not. Can we jump through it though? No, we can't. We have to uh, not go that way, clearly. How did I get through here the first time round? Did it sort of just force us through one way? It must have done so, because we can go this way. We just can't go this way at all. We could jump to, nope, we can't get through that way, but we can go that way for some reason. I've no idea what determines how you can go through and how you can't. But either way, we're nearly through with this uh, gem that doesn't seem to work at all. What if we were to jump to here? Or if we just go through this way? No, we can't get to that one from there. And we also can't get there either, but we can go this way. And that will let us not go there, but I bet we can go here. Oh no, wait, we can't, but we managed to get to the scroll anyway. I could go no further. These blasted magical walls have taken my strength, and I'm afraid my life. Too late have I discovered a way to detect the walls without cost to myself. These humble mushrooms that litter the floor awake the wall's power when tossed at them. Alas, I can only eat these mushrooms. Perhaps they may bring me strength to escape this cavern. Unfortunately, no. You are dead. And we can now just leave. With this gem that I'm sure will be useful at some point. Or maybe it won't be, because it really didn't help us uh, deal with those... Uh... Oh, hello! You weren't there before, I'm going to go this way and ignore that you're here. And rest here. Much better. And when we come back, folks, we're going to use that key that we found. Hopefully to unlock a door so that we can progress and get closer to the Mountain King. At least there won't be any more force fields for us to deal with, eh? There are going to be more force fields, aren't there? Most likely. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.